AOPS Volume 1 The Basics Number 104. A store sold 70 decks of cards for A67.9 B dollars, find A plus B. So what numbers compose 72? And the reason why we need to do this is because since they sold this amount of dollars for 70 do 72 decks, that must mean that this quantity is divisible by 72. Hence, 72 is equal to 8 times 9. Meaning, in order for 72 to be divisible by any number, it must be divisible by both 8 and 9. And now we must know the divisibility rules for both 8 and 9. 9's divisibility, 9's divisibility rule is the sum of its digits must be divisible by 9. For example, 360 is divisible by 9 because 3 plus 6 plus 0 is divisible by 9. What about 35? Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 is not divisible by 9, hence 35 is not a divisible, is not a divisible number by 9. And the divisibility rule for 8 is that the last three digits that form a three-digit number must be divisible by 8. For example, 3,251. 251 is divisible by 8. Well, if we plug it in, it is obviously not divisible by 8. Hence, 3,251 will not be divisible by 8. What about the number 8,888? Well, the last three digits are all divisible by 8. Hence, 8,888 will be divisible by 8. So this is, the, this is the divisibility rule for both 8 and 9. And now with this in mind, we can now find the possible quantities of A and B. So starting with 9, the sum of its digits must be divisible by 9. So A plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus B must be a number divisible by 9. And we will leave this to the side for now. And we can simplify this to be equal to A plus 22. And, oh, A plus 22 plus B. And now we can consider the divisibility rule for 8. That is, 790B must be a quantity divisible by 9. But remember, B can only be a single digit. So B can only be either 0 all the way to 9. And can we see if 0 will work out? Well, 790, 790B divided by 8 will give a quotient of 9, 72, 70B. So 8 must times some quantity to be equal, equal to 770 some quantity. And we know from our multiples for 8, 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 10 is 80. So the only number that has the tens digit with 7 that's divisible by 8 is 72. Hence, we can deduct that B is equal to 2. Hence, if B is equal to 2, we can find what A must be. If B is equal to 2, that means A plus 24 must be a quantity that's divisible by 9. And what is the largest value A can be? A can only be equal to 9. That is the largest possible A value. So 9 plus 24 is equal to 33. So this sum of A plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus B cannot... Ex uh, exceed 33 after plugging in B, of course. So what can A be that's below 33 and be a multiple of 9? Well, let's do our multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. And that will be sufficient because the sum cannot exceed 33. So we can ignore these quantities because they will never reach it. And we can obviously exclude 9 and 18 because 24 in itself is already greater than 9 and 18. So we can exclude those and deduct 27 must be the sum, hence A is equal to 7. Hence the sum of A and B will be A plus B, which is equal to 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. Meaning the sum of A and B will be 5 and the price of the deck of 72 decks will be $367.92. But nonetheless, the solution is 5.